beautiful day. It's been raining a couple days off and on. But the sun is out. It's about 80 degrees today and it's log splitting day. So Crosby is bringing up all these are older logs. These are logs from a couple of years ago when Brandon and a friend and his mom came out and cut down some trees. Uh, so these have been curing for a few probably two or years or so and the in-laws went home yesterday and so my parents came on the same day it was crazy so I dropped my in-laws off and as they were getting ready to go to their gate my parents got off the plane that they were waiting to get on which is kind of hilarious so my parents have been here for a day now, and you can see they're just fitting right in. We've got some getting a head start on the winter, but today is we were just kind of relaxing today a little bit in the morning. Uh, got the chores done. Kids had some sleepovers. Oh my goodness, those are the biggest ants I've ever seen. The ducks would go crazy for these ants. We should let the ducks out down here. They'd have a little buffet of ants. I don't know if you can see how big these ants are. I'm assuming these are carpenter ants and they are freaking out because we are disrupting their entire existence. Well, they're not carpenters. <laughs> so, not sure how much we're gonna get done because it's about an hour away from the second to last concrete pour. So we've got a couple people coming to help out with that. Jeff and Daniel are coming. And then our favorite call ready mix is coming with the concrete and Dean is coming with the pumper truck. So <laughs> you got ants in your pants, huh? <laughs> so yeah, we've got both my parents here. We're just having a good time catching up. It's been about three months since we've seen each other, so it's been, it was time. It was time for them to come and, and just check the place out, and they haven't been here since, oh gosh, last, last year, when the property was just completely raw. So it was quite a surprise to them to come out and see everything that we've been getting done. Crosby the log man. Jameson the log man. Gigi the log woman. And then we just had our excavator had sent this truck with a bunch of pipes. I'm not really sure what they're for, but yeah, just all of a sudden came up the driveway. Gigi doing it too. <laughs> the time has come. So the second level will get poured right now. So we've got our favorite pumper truck out here. Dean's out here. This is like second nature at this point. It's our fourth time having him come out. Hopefully this one will go a little bit quicker than before. So he'll get his truck all set up, get the pump exactly where it needs to, or the hose all, all where it needs to be. And then he's on the phone right now letting the concrete guys know when to pull up. this is so cool because this is kind of well new to the kids new to us new to my parents and so this is just really fun that we're able to be here to see this
Every time I see this, it reminds me of like a dinosaur. It looks like a <laughs> transformer. It does. And he's so good about clearing the trees, not scaring the ducks too much. So his plan today is to fill all of the windows first. So someone will be following him with a five gallon bucket, probably my dad, to catch all of the hose emptying cement or concrete. And so then what will be happening is that concrete will go into door frames down here up to that level. And using the Marshalltown trowel. The genuine Marshalltown trowel. Which, if I must brag, is where we're from. And over here as well into this door frame. So one, two, three, four, five, six windows. So, like I said, should be a little bit easier than the last four, but I don't want to say that out loud yet. <laughs> so the concrete just arrived, our favorites, Cal Ready Mix. And so it begins. All right, here it goes. Starting with the windows. A lot of bodies up here. We'll see how it goes. It's always that first initial flow of this concrete that is like, oh, jarring. Okay, this is how we do this again. So they're knocking on the fox blocks to see how high the concrete is getting. So he can gauge when to turn off the concrete flow. Actually worked out really well. Jeff's over there with the air hammer. Oh. <laughs> Good catch. It's always finding a good rhythm. Wall, see where he's up to. Jeff always loves to whistle green. Every time he's here, he's whistling green acres. once. <laughs> if you can't laugh, you're just going to be miserable.
major travesties yet. A little spillage. But now the window bucks are done. Now it's time for the walls. This is the moment of truth. We were joking that Nolan's like the the pooper scooper at the end of the circus or the end of the parade. It's going around and cleaning up all the mess. I think they're pretty happy with it so far. At that bottom window, I'm worried about that we don't have a seal all the way. So keep working. Okay. That one. Can you bang on this? How high was this? All right, so we were almost done, and as you can see, a giant storm came rolling in. The greenhouse is pretty destroyed. The guys are still working. This is mountain weather. We have we had zero warning that this would even happen. We're all out here holding down the awning because the winds were so strong, we were afraid that it was gonna take the whole thing away. And it's just whipping the trees around. It's crazy. Hopefully it passes soon. Boy. So, it was a crazy storm. Um, the greenhouse, you can see it up there. I'll give an update tomorrow on the garden, but it, the, all the poles are demolished. The ducks are in bed. They were unscathed. And crazy enough, all of that Fox Box styrofoam did not move, but it broke a tree. So, I'm not sure. Mountain weather, it's crazy. What did you think about today pouring? Well, we started at five, and it's like eight thirty uh, now. Lightning off of the distance and the, the pump. And pump as you can see, was, that's uh, metal. <laughs> Forget about that. What about the the boom the on the giant? Truck? Yeah, the giant metal the, crane type pumping hose. He looked at me with the fear of God when his hat blew off and the ladder flew off, and we're standing up on scaffolding. He thought, you're not paying me enough for this. <laughs> he didn't know what to do. Yeah. Can I quit? Yeah. No, we got, There's we got, water. We got concrete to do. Right? There's water in the garage from the rain, but also from just the concrete. It, it seeps out water. Um, so, like, this 
right there, that was all concrete water. Um, but you can see we're all just out, <laughs> outside enjoying just life. We're so thankful that that storm blew through. Um, the sky's beautiful now, nice and clear. But I was honestly very nervous. This was the first time being out here that I've been nervous about the storms. Um, being that we're living in an RV right here. And being that there are all of these aspens that you can see are very tilted now from the wind and the storm and all of that doesn't make me feel super great, but we made it through. We all were out here, as you saw before, holding down the awning. And now we're all just out here. We enjoyed a beautiful dinner together and maybe a couple cocktails. And now it's just time to go, you know? That was crazy, but we made it through. So I feel for everyone having to deal with all these storms. And when it, it's crazy because we're in a valley. So a storm comes through and it bounces off the mountains and it doesn't go anywhere. So we were lucky that it only lasted about two hours. But the person he was talking about before was the concrete guy, Dean. And he's been through some of these storms and this one, he was very nervous. So we're thankful. We're happy that it's done. Um, so next time, hopefully you see this, we will have more fox blocks set up here. We have to order now one more layer and then we wait for trusses. Fingers crossed that they are not right, that we have to wait, I don't know how long. But like I said, tomorrow, once we've all settled down, I'll give an update on the greenhouse. All right, so it's the day after the storm and everything's pretty wet. Um, I don't know. I mean, nothing is completely destroyed except for potentially the greenhouse. Um, the duck's house got pretty wet, so we need to change all of our bedding today. Um, it was so weird because that wind didn't even touch that styrofoam pile. But it snapped that tree in half. So crazy. I don't know how... It, it's just these mountain storms. That's all I can chalk it up to. But the ducks are all good. We've just been giving them all sorts of water. So now I'll take you into the greenhouse and show you what that looks like. So we're going to use some of the scaffolding that Brandon used for the house to rebuild part of the greenhouse. You can see it's just sunk in. But luckily, ours is still here. Our neighbors got completely blown away. So let's take a look. Hi girls, are you assessing the situation or just eating compost? So, you can see it just got mangled. The peas all got uprooted. They're all on top of the onions. The beets still look semi-okay. Some of the broccoli leaves got, um, I'm not going to go in too far because it's not super safe to be in here right now, but we came in yesterday and tried to kind of prop everything up and save it all. But I mean, this greenhouse was blown, I don't know, three or four feet that way. <laughs> so it just took all the plants down with it. But hopefully we can rig something up. Brandon's pretty confident that we can use some two by fours to kind of brace some of these bent poles. And it's just that cheap tin, so it's not super solid but it took two of us to hold it down last night and I still didn't feel super safe felt like a kite was gonna like we were a kite and we were just gonna be taken away so once we get this all braced up I'll give okay you so picture. we've been in here for about an hour working um just braced it up with some two by fours which we needed to bend some of these bars a little bit too and now they're kind of cracked and so we're just kind of holding these together with the two by four for a little more structure. Only last a few peas, so we've still got a few going. And that was about it. Everything else, maybe lost a leaf or two, but broccoli was all standing over on its side yesterday, so those are all looking good. Um, zucchini looks good, only one broken stem on that. Everything's a little tilted, but it's okay. Everything. I think we'll make it as long as we don't have a crazy storm like that come through again. So now, after
afternoon of Wednesday. You couldn't even tell that there was a storm last night, but we have a couple more guests here. My aunt and uncle from Iowa came into town, drove through, and now they're right, right to work. They were helping us disassemble the, they were just helping disassemble the scaffolding up in the house and now we're putting them to work, splitting logs and they're loving it. You guys in the market for one of those? Yeah. Yeah? Well, this is the one. <laughs> it's pretty easy. If an eight-year-old can man it, yep. Well, he's Samson, though. <laughs> he's strong. Well, look at strong man, yep. I have, a, I have an arm wrestle. He's the log man. <laughs> so we're excited we're gonna maybe go to the hot springs, maybe do some white water rafting. The kids wanna show them how they jump off the bridge and I think they're just loving being out here and we get to spend time. We haven't seen them for a few months, so this will be a good time. Well, it's Friday. Happy Friday to everybody. Um, today the kids did an entire pile of logs, so we've got quite the stack of wood going now for winter, which is going to be pretty great. We saw yesterday that the ducks were practicing taking flight, so Brandon and I have decided that possibly tomorrow morning we will be clipping wings. Um, we've never done that before, so we're going to watch some videos tonight and possibly do that in the morning before we let them out. Greenhouse is holding strong. Um, we are unloading all of the joists because the guys are upstairs building the walls for the main level. So we've got six cut so far, three more to go. One's already upstairs. So I'll take you upstairs, see what they've been doing up there. Finally got some music going in here. Jeff's here for about a half day today. And then I guess tomorrow too. And my aunt and uncle are still here along with my parents. So we've got lots of help, but the upstairs got all cleaned up yesterday so he's got the joist hangers put up and put up here too but look at there's a wall so exciting <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> Jeff's got quite the spectating group have you ever had this many people watching you work before? <laughs> I bet you love it too. <laughs> so we've got all of these hangers up. So these will run the entire length of the kitchen. And then where you see a gap here will be a loft area for the upstairs. 